Every seller wants their home to sell quickly and for a large profit, but it takes more than luck to make this happen. It involves careful planning and knowing how to professionally prepare your home to convince buyers to pull out their checkbooks. Hi, this is Anthony Keene with the Anthony Keene Group with EXP Realty. And as a local real estate expert, we care about homeowners in our community. And because we care, we want to pass on some useful information to homeowners like you to help you on how to prepare your home for sale. This will be a two-part video series, so make sure to check out the next one. There are a lot of moving parts to make your sale a successful one from start to finish. So our hope here is we can contribute to your success and make your for sale by owner's experience a great one. Here are five items to help your home shine above the competition. Number one, disassociate from your house. Letting go of your home can be difficult. You've lived there possibly for years and the house holds many memories. Detach from it emotionally. You must realize that without you in it, the house is just a shell to be filled by other occupants. Look to the future where you can make new memories in your new home. Sever your emotional attachment to the house by realizing that a home is about the occupants who live there, not just the space or the building. Your next house will feel like home before you know it because you will be personalizing your space and creating new memories. Number two, depersonalize your home. Pack up your personal photographs, family heirlooms, and other objects and clutter that might distract potential buyers and hurt a possible sale. A home, perhaps decorated with their own photographs, furniture, and art objects. Depersonalizing your home makes it easier for potential buyers to visualize how the home might look filled with their own items. Regarding furniture, only leave understated pieces that are out of distraction and don't create an unintended impression. For example, it would be difficult for a buyer to visualize their own antique furnishings in a place of the existing zebra couch or some type of bright yellow chair or the bear rug. <laughs> the goal here is to make it easy for a potential buyer to see the house as their future home. Number three, declutter your home. People tend to collect an amazing quantity of items over the years. Reasons for keeping items include emotional attachment an intention to fix or reuse the items in the future, or a wish to pass them on to others. However, for many items, if you haven't used them in over a year, you probably don't need them. Discard items in a useful way by donating them to a charity or nonprofit organization, such as the Salvation Army or Goodwill. These items not only help those in need, and there could be some tax deductions there. For items that are not accepted, Call your town to inquire whether the items can be picked up. Many towns schedule the service once or twice a month. Also, remove books from bookcases and other knickknacks and clean everything off your kitchen counters. Essential items that you use daily can be tucked away in a small box that can be placed in the closet when they're not in use. Considering this process an efficient start to your packing, remember, less is always more when selling and thinking about the stuff in your home. Number four, you'll always want to organize bedroom closets and storage cabinets. Buyers are going to be curious about storage space and will want to check closets and cabinets. It's important to ensure these are organized and it sends a negative message if your storage spaces are cluttered with items falling out all over. When a buyer sees everything organized down to the last detail, it shows that you took care of your possessions and likely took care of the house. In kitchen cabinets, alphabetize spice jars, neatly stack dishes, and turn the coffee cup handles so they're facing the same way. In closets, shirts should be buttoned and hung together, and shoes should be lined up neatly. Be sure the home is professionally clean and windows are shiny and bright. Number five, consider renting a storage unit. Almost every home shows better with less furniture. Remove pieces that block or pamper pathways. You want to put them in storage, along with distracting furniture, artwork, and empty bookcases. Remove extra leaves from your dining room table. This will make the room appear larger. Leave just enough furniture to showcase the room's purpose, with plenty of room for buyers to move around. This is the only the beginning. This is only the beginning. For, of the for sale by owner process. Stay tuned to the next part of the series and get five more tips in part two.
We have built great relationships with industry professionals that can assist with decluttering, cleaning, repairing, and staging so your home makes the best first impression to buyers. If you find you need assistance with this process, give us a call. We would love to partner with you and give you the best possible outcome for your home sale. Again, this is Anthony Keene with the Anthony Keene Group with eXp Realty. Selling and buying real estate isn't a hobby, and it's more than just a job, it's our passion.